John Sawat would often begin his evening Dharma talks by saying to put yourself in a good mood. He says, approach the meditation with a sense of confidence, reminding yourself that you're doing something that's very good. It may be difficult, but it's good. And it requires that you keep yourself in a good mood, no matter what happens, no matter how poorly the thing goes. Because grace under pressure is an important skill in the meditation. The ability to smile to yourself, no matter what happens. That ability has saved a lot of meditators from going off course getting discouraged, save them from letting their meditation crash. So whatever comes up in the meditation, treat it with good humor. The ability to laugh at yourself is probably one of the most important abilities that you have as a meditator. It's a matter of balance, because after all, you do have to keep a certain amount of pressure on yourself as you meditate. This is an earnest endeavor we're involved in, but you can't let it get grim. So you have to find for yourself what exactly is the right amount of pressure to put on yourself and how to put pressure on yourself. You've probably heard that story about the, the monk who was very de delicately brought up so delicately brought up that he even had hair on the bottom of his feet. And so when he spent hours doing walking meditation, of course, his feet started wearing through, getting all bloody. And he began to get discouraged. Well, maybe I could go back, he said, return to the lay life. That was back in the days when the Buddha was still alive. The Buddha levitated there. Don't you wish you could have the Buddha levitate to you when your meditation got bad? The Buddha came and said, remember when you were a lay person, you used to play the lute, right? The monk said, yes. And what happened when the strings were too tight? Well, they would snap. When they were too loose, you couldn't get a good sound out of them. He said, it's this, the Buddha then said, it's the same with the meditation. First tune your level of energy. the amount of effort you can put into the meditation, and then tune everything else, all the other what they call faculties of conviction, mindfulness, concentration, discernment. Tune those to the level of energy you can put in. It's like tuning a guitar. First you have to tune one string, and then you tune the other strings to the first one. So your first string is your amount of energy. And you want to put enough pressure on yourself so you actually get results, but not so much pressure that you snap. And one good way of putting a lot of pressure on yourself without snapping is to keep a good sense of humor about the whole thing. Keep yourself in a good mood. This involves the way you talk to yourself as the meditation goes on. When things don't go well, just drop whatever it is that's not going well. Move back to a level where you're pretty sure you can do things properly. And don't engage in a lot of recriminations, because that doesn't help anything at all. Just remind yourself that's not what we're here for. Drop it and go on. And with this sense of good mood, you find that you can ratchet up the level of pressure, the amount of time you spend with a meditation the persistence with which you pursue it. So whatever comes up in the meditation, whether it's good or bad, whatever, always try to keep a good sense of humor. Even when things seem to be going well, keep a good sense of humor as well. Don't get swollen up with your importance or your accomplishment, because then it's easy to crash. You get complacent. When I went to study with a John Fuang, one of the first things that really drew me to him was his sense of humor. 
Humor usually goes with wisdom. A good sense of humor goes with wisdom. The ability to step back and keep things in perspective. And that's precisely what you need as a meditator. It's when things start getting grim, when nothing seems to work. Just step back for a bit. Try to regain your good humor. And you'll find that that, more than anything else, will carry you through. 